Hanak, Enoch, 105. After a time, my son Methuselah took a woman for his son Lamech. She became pregnant by him and brought forth a child, the flesh of which was as white as snow and red as a rose, the hair of whose head was white like wool and long, and whose eyes were beautiful. When he opened them, he illuminated all the house like the sun. The whole house abounded with light. And when he was taken from the hand of the midwife, Lamech, his father, became afraid of him, and flying away came to his own father, Methuselah, and said, I have begotten a son unlike others. He is not of men, but resembling the offspring of the angels of heaven, is of a different nature, being altogether unlike to us. His eyes are as the rays of the sun, his countenance glorious, and he looks not as if he belonged to me, but to the angels. I am afraid lest something miraculous should take place on earth in his days. And now, my father, let me entreat and request you to go to our progenitor, rather progenitor, Hanak, and learn from him the truth, for his residence is with the angels. When Methuselah heard the words of his son, he came to me at the extremities of the earth, for he had been informed that I was there, and he cried out. I heard his voice and went to him, saying, Behold, I am here, my son, since you have come to me. He answered and said, On account of a great event have I come to you, and on account of a sight difficult have I approached you. And now, my father, hear me, for to my son Lamech a child has been born who resembles not him, and whose nature is not like the nature of man. His color is whiter than snow. He is redder than the rose. The hair of his head is whiter than white wool. His eyes are like the rays of the sun. And when he opened them, he illuminated the whole house. When also he was taken from the hand of the midwife, his father Lamech feared and fled to me, believing not what belonged to him, but that he resembled the angels of heaven. And behold, I am come to you, that you might point out to me the truth. Then I, Hanak, answered and said, Yahuwah will effect a new thing upon the earth. This have I explained and seen in a vision. I have shown you that in the generations of Yared, my father, those who were from heaven disregarded the word of Yahuwah. Behold, they committed crimes, laid aside their class, and intermingled with women. With them also they transgressed, married with them, and begat children who are not like spiritual beings, but creatures of flesh. A great destruction, therefore, shall come upon all the earth, a deluge, a great destruction, shall take place in one year. This child which is born to your son shall survive on the earth, and his three sons shall be saved with him, 
when all mankind who are on the earth shall die, he shall be safe. And his posterity shall beget on the earth giants, not spiritual, but carnal. Upon the earth shall a great punishment be inflicted, and it shall be washed from all corruption. Now, therefore, inform your son Lamech that he who is born is his child in truth, and he shall call his name Noach, for he shall be to you a survivor. He and his children shall be saved from the corruption which shall take place in the world, from all the sin and from all the iniquity which shall be consummated on earth in his days. Afterwards shall greater impiety take place than that which had been before consummated on the earth. For I am acquainted with holy mysteries, which Yahuwah himself has discovered and explained to me, and which I have read in the tablets of heaven. In them I saw it written that generation after generation shall transgress until a righteous race shall arise, until transgression and crime perish from off the earth, until all goodness come upon it. And now, my son, go tell your son Lamech that the child which is born is his child in truth and that there is no deception. When Methuselah heard the word of his father Hanak, who had shown him every secret thing, he returned with understanding and called the name of that child Noah, because he was to console the earth on account of all its destruction. Another sefer, which Hanak wrote for his son Methuselah, and for those who should come after him and guard their purity of conduct in the latter days. You who have labored shall wait in those days until the evildoers be consumed and the power of the guilty be annihilated. Wait until sin pass away, for their names shall be blotted out of the holy Sepharim. Their seed shall be destroyed, and the Ruachot slain. They shall cry out and lament in the invisible waste, and in the bottomless fire shall they burn. There I perceived, as it were, a cloud which could not be seen through. For from the depth of it I was unable to look upwards. I beheld also a flame of fire blazing brightly, and as it were, glittering mountains whirled around and agitated from side to side. Then I inquired of one of the holy angels who was with me and said, What is splendid? For it is not heaven but a flame of fire alone which blazes, and the clamor of exclamation, of woe, and of great suffering. He said, There, into that place which you behold, shall be thrust the ruachot of sinners and blasphemers, of those who shall do evil, and who shall pervert all which Elohim has spoken by the mouth of the prophets, all which they ought to do, 
For respecting these things, there shall be writings and impressions above in heaven, that the angels may read them and know what shall happen both to sinners and to the ruachot of the humble, to those who have suffered in their bodies, but have been rewarded by Elohim, who have been injuriously treated by wicked men, who have loved Elohim, who have been attached neither to gold nor silver nor to any good thing in the world, but have given their bodies to torment, to those who from the period of their birth have not been covetous of earthly riches, but have regarded themselves as a breath passing away. Such has been their conduct, and much has Yahuwah tried them, and their ruachot have been found pure, that they might bless his name. All their blessings have I related in a sefer, and he has rewarded them, for they have been found to love heaven with an everlasting aspiration. While they have been trodden down by wicked men, they have heard from them revilings and blasphemies and have been ignominiously treated while they were blessing me. And now will I call the Ruachot of the good from the generation of light and will change those who have been born in darkness, who have not in their bodies been recompensed with glory as their belief may have merited. I will bring them into the splendid light of those who love my holy name, and I will place each of them on a throne of glory, of glory his own, and they shall be at rest during unnumbered periods. Righteous is the judgment of Elohim, for to the believing shall he give belief in the habitations of uprightness. They shall see those who have been born in darkness unto darkness shall be cast, while the righteous shall be at rest. Sinners shall cry out, beholding them, while they exist in splendor and proceed forwards to the days and periods prescribed to them.